Hi guys, this is Panthro from AEF's 161 Squadron and today I'm going to do a bit of a walkthrough on how to install Universe Radio well, except that it's not Universe Radio, it's Universe Radio uh, the creator Tacno is French and that's how he's named it so there's no E I will put the links for this in the description below but just in case I'm going to quickly show you how to find it on Google just Google Universe, no E, radio. Obviously the first one is going to be that radio station from France. We want the second one on techno.fr slash universe radio. Click on the installation um, hyperlink just to scroll you down to the installation section. Obviously you need the 64-bit version of TeamSpeak for that. So we're going to download the Caucasus Relief Map, which takes care of the topography, helps um, do radio distances, that sort of thing. Or well, at least that's my understanding. And the Universe Radio Executable itself. Alright, now that's finished downloading, the first thing I'm going to do is install the Caucasus Relief Map. Now, I recommend doing this um, with all installations of this nature, just to avoid any potential pitfalls. Right-click on the actual file, then go up to Run as Administrator. I find this solves a lot of problems, particularly with betas and just go yes to the uh, permissions requester and the user agreement is in French so we could be agreeing to sell a kidney on the black market I don't know and once that's installed just close that then install the actual Universe Radio executable itself. Right click, run as administrator again. Yes on the permissions. Uh, agree to sell the other kidney. And close. Now, now that that's done, we can uh, run Universe Radio Control. So we'll go to Programs. Scroll down until we get to the ssoft uh, directory, then go to Universe Radio Control. And with this, we're going to install Universe Radio. Click Install, and it'll say Universe Radio installed. And the next thing we've got to do after that is set the radios. Now, if you've got a Thrustmaster Warthog like I do, you can set it up so that the button that you push to select the radio is the same as it would be in real life. But the order of the radios here is actually back to front as compared to how they uh, appear in the pit. So radio 1 is actually rear, radio 2 is mid, and radio 3 is front. So let's set that up now. So we'll just click on radio 3, set, and push mic switch forward, radio 2, mic switch down and radio 1 mic switch aft now before we leave this is really important because I forgot to do this once it caused me no end of grief trying to diagnose what was going on hit apply come up settings is applied and then you can exit that will be all done Now, we're going to load up TeamSpeak. I've got my TeamSpeak to run as administrator. I highly recommend you do that with DCS Connected. and TeamSpeak. Then, once you're in your um, TeamSpeak, go to Settings, Plugins, Find Universe Radio on the list. Tick the Universe Radio box make sure that box is ticked then you can close this oh and before we leave just notice that these betas are actually time limited 
So this is the date that the uh, 0 0.0.1.7 expires. It's the 31st of the 7th, 2015. If you've been having random TeamSpeak crashes and you've got Universe Radio installed and you've got the previous version of Universe Radio installed, you might find the crashes come from that. One, uh, 1 1.7 doesn't do that. It actually gives you a message. <laughs> now, close that. Now we're going to go to settings again, options. Go down to where it says hotkeys. Click on your hotkeys. And if you're like me, you've got a mouse button, push to talk, and you've also got the mic switch upwards, or mic switch up, set on your warthog so that you can use that in TeamSpeak uh, while you're in the pit. Instead of having to reach across and use your mouse every time. Then go Add. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a push to talk button for each of the three radios so that we don't have to select the radio and then hit a different button to transmit on that radio. We're going to set these up to be the same as what we have in Universe Control. Doesn't matter what order you do these in. So push to talk. We're going to click on the little triangle next to it to expand it. Click on default. That will embolden that text so we know we've got that selected. Then click on the Assign Hotkey button up the top here, and we'll do Mic Switch Forwards. And OK. Two more radios to go. Add. Push to Talk Default. Assign Mic Switch Downwards. OK. Add. Push to Talk. Assign Mic Switch Aft. Now, whenever we uh, push to talk a radio, when we're using um, Universe Radio, that will enable a push and hold function for that. Okay. Now, one other thing we have to do is restart your computer. I have had problems doing with this. You may not have to, but I recommend doing it just to be certain. So I'm going to close TeamSpeak. Disconnected and then I'll restart my computer. All right, now that I've rustled up a couple of people to um, help me do the comms checks in the pit, um, we'll get started up. Obviously they can't hear you if you do not have your radios turned on and powered up. So I'm gonna get the APU up. Battery's not enough to run the radios. Just close the pit here so we can hear. Okay, no one will still be able to hear me. I've got to power up the radios, which I've done. And I'll do a quick comms check here uh, to the A10 next to me, who's also in hog flight. Hog flight, comms check on front, one, two, four. Two. Comms check on mid, two, five, one. Two. Comms check on rear, zero, 030. Two. Oak flight standby, contacting ATC. Mozog Tower, this is Hog flight two times A10C requesting startup. And of course they can't hear me because I'm on the wrong frequency. So I'm going to push to 137 and 137 decimal 00 for Mozdok Tower. And now they'll be able to hear me. Mozdok Tower, hog flight, two times A10C requesting startup. A10 flight, this is Mozak Tower. You are cleared for startup. Contact me when you're ready for taxi. 
Pug flight. Pug flight, you are cleared for start. Two. And as you can see, that works rather nicely. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to get used to transmitting on the three different radios. Because obviously, uh, my wingman here, Black Magic, can't hear me while I'm talking to Tower because he should still be on the guard frequency, 124. And he won't come over to this frequency unless I tell him to. Um, so, if I transmit on 137, he can't hear me. So I typically want to translate on uh, mid here, 251. Alright, let's get started up and have a good flight. 